In this video tech tip, we are going to explore a very popular collection of tools from the Imaginate Utilities for Civil 3D to help manipulate gravity pipe runs. My name is Joe Hedrick, and I am a solutions architect with Imaginate. This overview is meant to help you get started utilizing these routines. Let's get started. The pipe utilities are really meant to work all in conjunction with each other. So we're gonna tackle these all together. Uh, from the Imagine It tab, uh, we can find all of these tools uh, you know, almost in the center of the ribbon um, under a panel you know, named Gravity Pipes. A little bit about the drawing that I'm using, just a very, very simple uh, you know, pipe run. I do have a, uh, a crossing pipe uh, here as well. We've got the plan view, we've got the profile view. You know, this is something that's, that's pretty common. You know, once you initially lay out a pipe run, you know, to have it, you know, look similar to this based off of, you know, what your civil 3D rules, your pipe rules um, are. So the, the first utility that I'll show is swap multiple parts. And again, this was developed at a time when, when civil 3D, you know, this it just, it wasn't in the uh, you know the feature set at the at that time, but it's important to know that this works uh, you know really in you can pick these uh, you know structures or pipes you can do it in plan view and or profile view, so you're you're not required to only use plan or only use profile um, etc. And we'll just do a little bit of both. I'm just going to pick a couple of manholes here to uh, to to get started. And you can see right now they're they're 48 inch manholes. You know we'll we'll hit enter to accept that and maybe change them to a 60 inch manhole, and instantly you can see the uh, you know the the labels and, and structures uh, did update. Uh, you know these are now conical uh, in in shape, uh, so very quick and easy way to uh, um, change out parts. You know, so just showing that it does work in, in profile as well. Maybe we'll change these pipes from uh, 24 to, to 36 inches, and very quickly we can go through and, uh, and make adjustments and changes like that. So moving along, uh, probably our, our newest tool in the gravity um, you know, pipe suite is our clearance utility. We had a request, really multiple requests of, you know, can we come up with something that would actually show the distance between crossing pipes? And, and I'm gonna kind of highlight this area right here on the screen. You can see down below in, in profile view that, you know, I've actually, you know, created, um, this is, is just a profile label, but it is 3.04 feet. And the way that this utility works is we'll hit pipe clearance, Pick first pipe, so in this case, we are picking pipes. Uh, we'll select that and it instantly brings us, uh, oops, let's just move the label so we can get it out to where we can see it. And it's gonna annotate, uh, you know, the vertical clearance. You know, we say uh, approximate just, uh, you know, because of, you know, the, the math that it's in, that's involved here, but it's uh, it's obviously, you know, 3.04 feet in this case. So a couple of things about this label. Number one, it is a note label. So it's going to be dynamic and respond with uh, the rest of, you know, like, like any other label in Civil 3D would. So, you know, just have, uh, have your note label style uh, configured. And from there, you're, uh, you're, you're good to go. It's gonna be, you know, reactive with the text. Um, there are some options that go along with it. Uh, just kind of really quickly, um, you know, depending on, on what you want to show. Uh, so in these, uh, you know, I just launched the utility and then um, there is an O for options. And here's where you can pick what label style you're going to be using and, you know, different bits of information that you could add to uh, the label, right? And again, you know, similar to a lot of other things, move it up, move it down, uh, et cetera, to be able to compose the, the data for that, for that label. All right, moving back to uh, you know, some of the other uh, utilities here. Quick Edit Pipes is my personal favorite one. And if you are familiar with how Quick Edit feature lines works, 
this was developed to work, you know, very, very similar. So when we launch the routine, instantly you'll see once I start hovering over pipes, right, we get in the center of the pipe, we get little triangle uh, glyphs. Um, if you wait long enough for the tooltip to pop up, you can see that the slope of this pipe is negative 1.5%, right? That's this pipe right here. That makes uh, complete sense. If we look and hover on the end of that pipe, um, the glyph turns to a square and we get uh, invert elevations. So, you know, very quickly, if I know, you know, a lot of times what people will do in their workflow is they lay out the pipe run, but they've kind of already calculated what they know that the inverts need to be. Uh, if you're one of those people that, that work like that, that's awesome. You can roll through here and, you know, simply click and set a different uh, you know, invert for that pipe, right? In this case, it's 621. Maybe I want it to be 623. And you can see the, uh, you know, the pipe update right there, right? If we go through just to show, you know, let's, uh, let's come down below. This also works you know, in profile view. Uh, so right now the slope is you know, 3.25. Um, you know, maybe I want it to be a negative 3% slope and it's going to adjust accordingly. So that's quick edit pipes. Again, plan view, profile view, doesn't matter. We've got three more utilities that work, you know, somewhat similar to each other. Uh, pipe grading is the next one that we will talk about. And all of these were designed to basically help you do kind of mass changes to the pipe run, right? And with pipe grading, basically, what if I want to set a slope, a consistent slope, you know, throughout the entire run? Right, so we can pick, you know, part one, we can come through and pick part two, and it's going to ask me my starting uh, invert elevation. Again, maybe if I want to change that, I could. It's going to ask me for a grade that I want to push through the entire run. Uh, if I want to have any no drops at the structures, and just like that, it went through and pushed a 2% run or 2% slope through all the, all the different pipes. Uh, pipe elevation is for basically raising and lowering uh, the run. So if I know that, you know, just for whatever reason, I need to lower this pipe run uh, three feet. Again, I you know, just L for lower, R for raise, put in the amount, and it will go through and you know, raise or lower the, you know, in my case, the entire run, but it's also between uh, you know, really the structures that, that you select. And then the last one is pipe invert. And this is really for the times where you kind of, you know where you're starting and you know uh, the end and you want to push something consistent uh, through the entire run. So I picked the first part. I'm going to pick the second part. You know, maybe I want to start, at, again, we'll start at 621, right? I want to end at 615. Again, no drops if, if we want them. And just like that, it, uh, it accommodates, um, you know, with a, a 1.7, 1.8% uh, slope through the uh, entire run. So hopefully this will, uh, this will benefit and, and help you get started. Thank you for watching. And I hope this overview was beneficial. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out by using the email address or phone number provided. Have a great day.